Credit card debt was up nearly 16% last year from 2022, according to NerdWallet's latest look at household debt. Income hasn't grown as fast as expenses in recent years, but many experts like NerdWallet's Sarah Rathner say borrowing a reasonable amount of money to get an education, buy a car or a house often makes economic sense. And she says many, many households borrow when money is tight and pay it back when the cash flow increases. There's this mindset that credit card debt is the result of frivolous spending, that people are going out shopping and dining out when they can't afford to. But really, a lot of credit card debt comes from these necessary day-to-day -day expenses, food, transportation, housing. Even medical bills put a lot of Americans into credit card debt. And so these are expenses you can't avoid. And sometimes they happen because of a really difficult life situation. So if you are in credit card debt because you're trying to make ends meet and your income is just not keeping up, give yourself some grace. Know that you're not alone and know that help is out there for you. NerdWallet's new study shows close to half of Americans with revolving credit card debt say they are stressed about it. If that is you, take steps to lower your interest rates on your cards, whether that is transferring debt to a card with zero interest so you can work on paying it down or picking up the phone and calling each credit card company asking for a lower rate. And Rathner says, don't be afraid to ask for help. Research reputable organizations like nonprofit credit counseling agencies, set up a meeting, and don't be embarrassed if you need to get that help. With this watch in your wallet, I'm Rachel DePampa.